Good morning. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Good. Here, my name is Brianna. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet so, you too. I have a question for you. Why would you like to be junior Miss Iowa? Well, right now I'm junior Miss Lynn County, but before I was Mira Gibbons' violinist, and I was still doing the same things. I was still volunteering. I was out in my community. I was, I was spreading music for our youth, and but ever since. I became Junior Mislin County. It's been so much easier, and I've been able to do so much more. I got a two-page article in the newspaper about my initiative. I have inspired so many other people. I've gotten meetings with my mayor, my superintendent, a city council member, and I feel like I could do so much more if I was Junior Miss Iowa. Good morning. I'm Mariah. What is the one thing about yourself that you love the most? Well, I love that... I'm very charitable and I'm always looking to help other people. Morning, I'm Aaron. Okay, if you could pick one word to describe your personality, what would it be and why? I would say bright because I'm always looking to be a light to other people. I'm always looking to be helpful and I'm also very smart and I just love to brighten people's days. Good morning, my name's Randy. What is your favorite thing about Kaja? I like making new friends and I love making connections with new people. Who is your role model and why? I'd say my grandma because she was a young woman in law when that was very, very unpopular. She was raising kids and she's always very charitable. She's always looking to help other people. She's kind and she's actually going to be here today supporting me. So um, you mentioned in your essay that you have, quote, a lot of big ideas regarding your platform. Can you share one of your big ideas with us? Yes. So if I become Junior Miss Iowa, I hope, and even if I don't, um, I hope to start a kind of chamber music camp with people from the Harmony School of Music, which is a free music initiative for disadvantaged youth that I mentor at and I donate my proceeds from my charity violin business to. Um, I want to start a chamber music camp or a summer camp with them so that we can inspire them, hopefully. So if you were trying to get me to compete in the youth program, what would you tell me to sell me on the opportunity? Well, I think you're a little bit too old now, but... <laughs> a little. <laughs> a little. A couple of years. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. But I'd say that it's just so amazing because I've already made so many new friends. Everyone is just so sweet, and you're nervous at first, but it's just so fun, and it's really great to make these connections. So this is my first thought, passion judgment. So I started my business about a year ago, Mira Gibbons Violinist, and I play my violin at weddings, events, especially charity events. I've played at over 75 events since I started my business, um, and I donate my proceeds to the Harmony School of Music, I told you about that earlier, and the Cedar Valley Humane Society. I love the Cedar Valley Humane Society. I sometimes play my violin for the dogs because classical music has, studies have shown that it calms dogs down. And I started my business because I wanted to spread the joy of music. And I realized that I could make it a charity business so that I could help causes that I am really passionate about. And I love playing my violin everywhere. Performing is my passion, so. So you've also taken over 300 learning courses. You must be one Chris Mark um, Which one did you find to be the hardest? So out school? So probably the hardest were my mock trial classes because I used to be very, very shy and I didn't really like public speaking. Well, I did, but it was just very nerve wracking for me at first. But I do think the mock trial classes really helped me kind of come out of my shell because mock trial, you, it's mostly all talking and we would have to make it up on the spot, which I think has really helped me generally. And I love my out school classes. I've taken so many classes from art to political cartoons, and I've enjoyed everything, including my mock trial classes, even though they made me a little bit nervous. <laughs> That's okay. That's very cool. So I'm also a violinist and have done a lot of work in this community. So when you are out of the community uh, promoting your platform, 
how do you talk to people that don't necessarily agree with the importance of music education and think that it should be something taken out of schools? So, I have came across, come across this. I think it's just very important to be respectful, and I have plenty of facts, like having music education, especially in a learning environment, really helps kids' emotional development. They study show they do better on tests, and I just state the facts, and I'm always very respectful because I know that's very important, especially when you're representing an entire state. So, congratulations on Superhero Student of the Year. Can you tell us more about what that is and how you got that achievement? So I received that award, I believe it was in fifth grade, so that was my last year of elementary school, a few years ago. So the Superhero Student of the Year, we got a little duck, a little rubber duck trophy, so it obviously wasn't that, you know, but I really, really, really was very proud because I knew that it meant that I was a role model to others and I was helping the teacher, I was very kind and I, one of the things, especially when I'm in a class, because I can tend to get bored, um, I always like to help others. That's my first priority in a classroom, second priority. And I was just really proud. What do you like the most about being a new swim team? I really like the sense of community. I've made a lot of friends through my swim team. And even if I'm not the best swimmer, um, it's still just really fun. And I've... It's also a great way to get exercise, and I love being in the water, even if I'm not the best at it. So I don't know if I give you hundred dollars right now. What would you just spend it on? So I would probably donate it, but other than that, <laughs> <laughs> I would probably buy some stuffed animals. I love stuffed animals. Is there a certain kind of stuffed animal you like? like so my favorite brand is um, Belzy, which they're just really cute. I have. I actually, the one that I brought here, I live in Cedar Rapids, I brought, um, I brought my bee, so. <laughs> because, I mean, it was a queen bee, so. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was like it. <laughs> <laughs> so, besides your platform, so music aside, what is one of the biggest issues facing kids your age today? What I've seen from being in, out in my community very regularly is that kids are disconnected with their communities. They don't know the issues going on that are facing members of their own community, people that are living right beside them. And that's what I love about kind of going out and spreading my message because they kind of realize how important it is. And that's also kind of how I get other kids involved with the charity work that I do because they don't realize how important it is because they're very connected to their devices and they're kind of hanging out by themselves. But I think when I'm out there and when I'm you know, representing the things that need to be done, I think that I can really inspire Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. <laughs>